and welcome back to Infinity News. I'm your host, Esme. And I'm your hosts, Waylon and Jeff. Last Friday, a party in Greenwich left the entirety of Donut 5 without heat or hot water on one of the coldest nights of the year this far. Let's find out how that happened with our friend Richie. What's going on? This, this is uh, the soccer mod right here. Everybody in here plays soccer. We decided to throw a party tonight. On social media, we hit up every uh, Mount Holyoke Smith, Amherst uh, page we know. We wanted them to come here. This is a real five college party event. The floor in Greenwich is broken. It's literally broken. It's collapsed. I've never seen that happen before. This is my third year. And I'm very grateful everybody is here. I hope we can get it fixed. Thank you for coming. Residents of Donut 5 were informed that due to the lack of plumbing, they were invited to move into Merrill effective immediately. Every student chose to remain in their mod, proving once and for all that even Greenwich isn't worse than Merrill. Heat was returned to the Donut Sunday morning, and reconstruction of the floor of Mod 35 began on Monday. The current occupants of the soccer mod have been temporarily moved to the mysterious mod 104, which has no stove. A small price to pay to the party gods, if you ask me. Yeah. <clears throat> this week in gaming news... What's up, gamers? Recently, Blizzard has been making rounds in an internet outrage. Outrage. Blizzard sparked controversy by suspending a Hong Kong Hearthstone player for supporting the Hong Kong pro-democracy protests. That player just happened to have won a Hearthstone Grandmasters tournament. And that's a big deal, apparently, as in they get prize money, meaning that that player was forced to forfeit thousands. Even Blizzard's own employees are confused and outraged by the corporate decision. Even for an ice storm, it was cold. Now the music. Hello, everybody. I'm Caroline, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Infinity's New Music Fridays. On this show, we're going to be covering music that came out today and in the past few weeks. It's been a very fruitful fall so far. Angel Olsen's new album, All Mirrors, dropped last Friday. Before Friday, we'd heard the title track and the follow-up single, Lark. I'm a huge fan of Lark. That's the one I've had on repeat, as well as new new love cassette in spring the whole album is just much more mature and self-assured than any of her past work it's overall more produced than any of her past stuff which i think is a positive thing but it's just an evolution it's different um also king princess dropped like the fifth single off her um upcoming album chief queen which should be out later this month um Old LP is the first album by the band That Dog since 1997, which is kind of crazy. It just came out. I think it's really dope. I think the title track, Old LP, it has this kind of like pomp, almost musical theater vibe, which makes my heart very happy. Should definitely give that a listen, That Dog, Old LP. Um, also, Anna Ash released a new album last month, LA Flame. and. She's super cool. She's got this Western, almost like Thelma and Louise, Cheryl Crow kind of vibe that I really dig. She's one of those artists who kind of knows how to articulate what you're thinking before you do. Um, also last month, Brittany Howard from Alabama Shakes um, debuted her first solo album. Obviously, Stay High was a huge hit, um, and everything off that album is super cool and super different from anything she's done with Shakes, and it kind of ranges like many decades, but it still all works somehow. Um, and lastly, an artist to watch is Olivia Barton. She's a Boston local artist. She released her debut album this summer. It, this title is, I think it's the most amazing thing, I Could Have Smiled At You More. And if you listened to the track James Taylor, your heart will shatter in the best way possible. Um, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. We will see you next week. And now we have another Div 3 showcase. Please welcome George Astor to the studio. Hey, see you, Esme. Hi. Hey, George. Hi. Welcome to the studio. Thanks so much. It's good to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you. Yeah. So you're at Hampshire College Div 3. That's what they tell me. And how's it going? Are you busy? No, not yet. I actually only have uh, one class right now. I haven't. Uh, 
gotten into any of my Div 3 project work yet. Um, I only became a Div 3 like two days ago, technically. Well, so I, I don't congratulations. know. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good to be here. Um, mm, so what's your Div 3 going to be about? What are you looking at? Um, well, I've had a pretty consistent plan as long as I've been here. Uh, I'm primarily, you know, music person, video person, and uh, I've been I've had a lot of potential thoughts, but the one that I'm sitting on right now is I think I'm gonna try and develop a pop opera, which is like a rock opera, but uh, with more pop stylings. I have no plot, I have no concept, I have no script, I have no idea how long it's gonna be, I have no real information on it at all, uh, but it's a thought. Um, mm -hmm. I also, you know, want to focus on musical collaboration, artistic collaboration of many sorts. I am thinking I might start having office hours in my room where I, so A, I can have some substance, some schedule to my day, and also invite other musicians and artists to come through and uh, collaborate. Maybe that will go towards the pop opera, but I'd also just like to be putting out music and stuff as regularly and consistently as possible. Um, yeah. Right. So you said this pop opera can kind of go in any direction. Yeah. Is there a particular impact that you want to make with it? That's, I mean, still what I'm kind of trying to figure out. Um, I, it's, I mean, I, I, it's an idea, but um, it's still a little fresh. I mean, it was only a concept that I really started playing around with as of this year. Um, I think the, coin, the term was coined by an artist that I admire a lot, Jack Stauber. Um, mm. You may know him from his TikTok work, really cool little uh, YouTube videos. Uh, very t talented multimedia artist, um, made, in a, made a pop opera for Adult Swim. His was just about going to the store character had a little existential cool. realization after buying bread, milk, napkins, etc. Um, it's, it's exciting to hear that you want to work with a wide variety of people and collaborate yeah, a yeah. lot. Uh, do you see the pop opera as an ideal place for that to happen? Yes. I, I do want to have a lot of creative control over the you know, direction, scoring and stuff. I kind of want to do mostly myself because, I mean, it, maybe it's a pride thing. Maybe it's just a, like a, I, I want to flush out, like show m more to myself than anyone else. I can do all these things and I've never really gotten a chance to direct a movie like that, write it, score it, all things that I've always wanted to do. But obviously I can't do every part by myself. So I do want to get like as many people as I can to help crew, musicians, um, actors, etc. Um, if you're interested in any of those things, uh, hit my line. I'm sure they'll put a little, I don't know, put my phone number on the screen or something. I, I don't care. It'll, either they'll put it on the screen yeah. or they won't. Or they <laughs> yeah, but it's great to have you in here and to Absolutely. hear about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, a last question. Like, since you've been inspired by pop operas before, is there something in the format that speaks to you, like other formats have? Um, I mean, I, before I knew exactly what I wanted to do for my Div 3, I've always known that I wanted to do something with music as well as visuals. I've always been super intrigued and personally impacted by um, projects that use, uh, audiovisual like combinations of media. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been very, uh, I love the synesthetic sort of thing. I think that yeah. when sound goes with visuals, it kind of makes the best media that I tend to see ever, and my favorite at least, that I tend to see. Um, and I have been exploring that in like, you know, a smaller scale, like, you know, I, I like like a little video that is like, you know, a little tiny little music video. Um, Jack Starver's great at those. but um. I think that if I want to do it, and if I'm going to do it for my Div 3, I'd like to maybe broaden the scale a bit. So I'm thinking like, you know, fun, synesthetic little project, but maybe on a more tommy size scale. Tommy the Who, rock Tommy, opera. can you hear me? Tommy, can you hear can me? Can you feel me near you? Exactly. All right, well, we'll be able to hear George yeah, and, and see George. Absolutely. And, and you know, I us. it might be something totally different next time you hear from me, but it's going to be something cool. and. Uh, I'll try and keep you all updated. Maybe I'll send you a little, a little, nice. little snippet, a little sneak peek at some point. You said it was fresh, and we like it fresh. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Hug on TV. Is that allowed?
Is this allowed? Yeah. We got it. We got a head nod. We're okay, good. cool, We're cool, good. cool. Uh, All right. Okay. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Have Bye. A good day. You too. That was George. Let's call him back, isn't it? All right. Thanks for joining us for this week's installation of Infinity News. See you next week. Bye.